how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing the update to pen those eyeshadows. I'm so excited. I have a great update today. A great update. I'm very happy. Uh, this is, of course, created by Alexi. She's not posting so much anymore, but um, she does have a great back catalogue, so I will have her linked down below. Plus, if you put in the hashtag, you will get so many wonderful videos. Um, personally, I was inspired by Rebecca Morgan. This is where I first saw this project and went down the rabbit hole and just fell in love with this project. I adore it. Um, Originally, my rules were to randomly choose a palette from my full collection using tiny decisions and then use the random generator to choose the shade. That was one. Two, randomly chose, choose from palettes already in projects and then random generator. Three, use makeup with Laney's prompts. Four, choose my own palette and use it in a no pan left behind style. And five was a one shade from my focus palette, which is the Soph. Revolution palette. I'm keeping the focus shade from the Soph Revolution palette and I'm keeping the no pen left behind. Uh, but the other three now are all going to be makeup with Laney or yeah. Makeup with Laney by Laney. Laney, the gorgeous Laney. I'll have her linked below. Uh, I'll be using her prompts and I'll have them linked below as well because I'm just enjoying them so much and I just. It's it's what's making the project more fun for me this year. So that's the, the route I'm going for now at least. Uh, so still five um, shades to be worked on. A well, four shades and a, and a palette to be worked on a month. And uh, 20 uses or pan, whichever comes first. Hope that all makes sense. You'll see as we go along. So first up is the Focus Palette. And that is the Revolution by Soph Palette. And the shade I'm working on is the second shade in the palette. I've already hit pan on the first shade, the white shade. And I'm now working on this shade. Now, this is already on 28 uses. There is... Can you see the bit of a dip? There is quite a dip going in it. Uh, but we're not we're not near pan yet, guys. Uh, this has taken quite a long time um, to hit pan on, longer than I expected. But look, we'll get there in the end. But, good news, I have bonus pan. This was in... Pan and Punk? Pantasy. Pantasy. It was in Pantasy. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It was in a project and I've hit pan on it. So at least we have another pan in this palette this month. So a bonus pan. Yay! Um, so we're going to continue working on this shade and hopefully next month we'll have um, hit pan on it. I mean, 28 uses. I use it nearly every time I do my makeup as a kind of a setting shade. So I'm really surprised it hasn't because I use it all over the lid. It's not like it's just used in one spot specifically. But here we are. Uh, next up is my ABH Jackie Ina palette. So I only had two uses, oh no, 22 uses, not 20 uses, 22 uses, because it's 2022. Um, Jackie Ina palette, I have the shade Supreme, and um, my goal was 22 uses or pan. I have a lovely little dip going in it, and I only had two uses left. Um, hmm. Hard to show the dip in it. I only had two uses left on it and uh, I hit those two uses very quickly, which I'm happy to say. Now I'm not gonna be able to show you the dip, but there you go. I have used it 22 times. There is a dip in it, take my word for it, or don't, whichever you prefer. But the thing is, gold met, palette rolling out, and um, I'll probably take this off my rotation for now and bring it back in in autumn because um it's not a summer palette for me so much um but yeah i'm thrilled another gold mat that's yay uh next up was one of laney's prompts so that one was a random generated one uh one of laney's prompts and that was an everyday shadow and i had chosen the be perfect carnival Van um, palette and the shade vanilla which is very much just an inner corner highlight here it is here and i have used that 22 times um Bit of a disappointing shade if I've been honest. It, it gets hard pen quite easily and I don't use my finger or a wet brush, which would be the two culprits for I feel for making hard pen. Um but yeah, I'm I'm not loving the shimmers in this palette. I adore the mattes, they're phenomenal. Uh but the shimmers are a little bit lackluster, a little bit disappointing. In my humble opinion. I should really actually 
Honest to God, woman. You swear this is your first video and you'd never swat. You realize that you just swatch stuff. So we're going to put the shades that are rolling out on this hand. See, that is so hard now to pick up. It's a disappointing shade for sure. And the ones that are staying in on the other hand. Can't believe that so far how long it's taken. It's taken forever. Now it's not it's a hard pressed shade. There's no kick up from it at all. Excuse me while I dab the all my ball. So uh that one is rolling out as well. No pan, but that's okay. Um it is what it is. Next up, ooh, 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 this one I rolled in last month, and I won't lie, my heart sank a little bit because if you know. I've been doing 50 shades of purple, so I've been inundated with purple eyeshadow all year. And when I did the, the prompt for Lainey, it was a purple shimmer. And I thought, are you taking the piss? Because can I not get away from purples? But you may have noticed in, in videos prior to this and this one over today as well. And today, very excitingly, is the one that I hit pan on. There it is there. Can you see it? Look at the pan. Now, to be fair, predominantly that's how I've been wearing the shade, is down on the bottom waterline. I'd watched a video by uh, Danny from Danny's Makeup, and she had a very neutral eye up top, and she had this gorgeous blue, kind of royal blue or deep blue um, bottom lash line. And I thought, that's the way to use this. I don't have to do full-on purple looks every time. I can just do a little pop of purple. And I've been loving it. Um, so yeah, I've been using this brush here. And so you can see it. So it is quite a um, dense and small brush. So I would kind of now, and this this formula is not a super shock so much, but super shock leaning. You know what I mean? There's a softness to it, a softness to a lot of her shades, actually, her shimmer shades. Um, but yeah, so I'd swirl it in, and I just bring it all along the bottom lash line, and I was really enjoying that look. So I'll give you a little swatch as well. Very soft feeling formula. But yay, I have a pen and I'm so happy. So there you go, there's the three, then I like the French flag. Uh, there are the three colors that are rolling out. How many uses have I in that? Seven, only seven uses. But again, you have to remember it is with a very detailed brush and uh, used in a very specific way. But yeah. Go on, we've got pan. Now, with my no pan left behind, that did take a hit because I was so focused on those. I really wanted to get the Jackie Ina one done because it's been in the longest and then the next longest was the um, Be Perfect Shimmer Shade. So all in all, and with trying to get on my purples, this took a hit. This was my no pan left behind from Essence. It's the, sorry, the bronzed this way palette from Essence. Lovely little uh sextet of shades and i didn't touch it didn't get near it at all so this one is staying in and will be um in again this month for my no pan left behind and i, I really need to because i want to see if i like it or, or what's the story i haven't used it yet so i'm very curious about it uh so those are the ones that are rolling out those three shades that's the one shade that you can't see because it's the same color as my skin tone and we will be rolling in Three new, oh my God, three new shades. How exciting. So let me pull up. I have all Lainey's prompts put into my Tiny Decisions app. So here it is here. Can you see that the ring light kind of brings it out of it? There we go. Uh, so let's roll and see what we get. Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> Swear to God, it's purple. Shadow from a monochromatic palette. Sorry, you probably can't see these. Fuck. Oh, oh! I know the palette I'm thinking of, and then I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus, it's purple. <laughs> Anywho, next. <laughs> oh, God. A black shadow. Oh, dear. Look, it is what it is, guys. <laughs> I'll be using that as a liner. Oh, a duochrome shadow. I don't know if you can see any of these. 
Okay. Oh, I'm very excited. Right. I shall head to the palette drawer and see what I'm going to pick and come back to you in two minutes. Eee, so excited. And I'm back. So let me start with i'm going to use the one palette for two prompts uh so one of the prompts was a black eyeshadow so this is the manifest uh, the be perfect uh, dream big manifest palette and i am going to use the black shadow from this quite a nice form actually feels quite oh i'm on the wrong hand doesn't matter you all know this is the black that is coming in. So maybe not the most intense, but intense enough. So I can use it as a deepening up shade and I can use it as a liner. Jeepers, that is stuck onto my... <laughs> uh, the other one is the shade Anne. So this is going to be my duochrome shadow. So this shade here. Very hard to show duochrome on camera, obviously, but... This is a very beautiful and flaky kind of shade. So it's like it has a pinky, goldy, kind of duochrome. I don't know what you're seeing on camera there, where there's in a goldish, reddish, bronzish kind of shade, and it can get quite pink. Um, yeah, you can't see the pink, but I can see the pink. So that is going to be my duochrome shadow. We're just going to dab the eyeball again. It's new. And last but not <laughs> least, look at I've accepted it. I'm moving on. I don't have much in the line of monochromatic palettes in my collection. The one I do have is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop uh, palette in cotton candy. Oh, by Ruth, is that not kind of purple in? Yes, yes, it is. What's your look at? Well, it's pinky purple, isn't it? And um, I don't think the video's gone up yet, but I did a video about the kind of top 10 palettes for spring, summer that I want to get use out of um, this spring, summer. Um, and that was one of them. So I'm delighted. Two, four, six, eight. So eight shadows. So I'm going to... Um, Randomly generate a number. Why won't you let me do what I want to do, Mr. Man? Clear history, print rerolls. And eight, okay. So here we go here. Can I shake mine? Oh, again, shake it like a butter right bitch. Yeah. And um, number eight, which is the pink. Well, do you know what? Now that'll go. I can't just have to run. Ah, well, I just rolled out the Jackie eye nut, but that's okay. So, this is it here. I'm so excited. I just want to play with this palette, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah, use the black finger with the black on it, and it'll go lovely, I'd say, with that shade Anne as well. So, I mean, the, the pink from Jackie Ina is more of a peachy pink, and this is a true, like, pink kind of shade. Oh, yeah. Well, look, at that's fun. That'll be a fun look to create, just the, them on their own. It would be lovely to create. So, my goal on each of these, 22 uses or pan, whichever comes first. And, um, look, and I'm under no illusion that the chances of there being a rollout next month are probably quite slim. Because none of these shades, I don't think, are going to be easy. Maybe the Anne one, because it's quite a flaky kind of formula. Um, maybe that one might be achievable but the other two certainly not and um, this one i have to have done my bronze this way it needs to get focused on first this is the priority um till i see if i like it and then obviously my soft palette i want to get i want to hit pan on that one if it kills me um, but that is it for today's update guys i hope you enjoyed it uh i hope you like the way i'm doing this please let me know down below if you do or you don't and um, if it's a thing that you've stumbled across this video because you're watching loads of Pandos eyeshadow videos and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. I would be thrilled to bits. Thrilled to bits. Um, but how are you getting on with your eyeshadows? Are you 
happy with the way you're doing it i'm loving seeing everybody's uh variation on this so exciting it's so it's so cool to see how people are adapting this definitely as well next year i really like um sophie alexander's project level up that's a fun one too but i'm not doing it this year because i have enough on my plate uh but i liked that one i thought that was a cool one too um but yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll chat you in the next one take care bye Slon.